Hi, my beautiful friends. Would you like to know how you can get these beautiful ombre set of nails? Yes, I'll mail it to you. Well, stick around, watch the video, and somewhere in the video, I will let you know how you can get these mailed to you by me. It's a ombre set using the Young Nail airbrush, and the flowers is a 3D sculpted flower that I will be doing. Thanks for joining me on my life on a hill. Please don't forget to subscribe. And here is basically the little fingers that I'll be using to stick my nails on. Um, some might prefer this method or some might prefer the method of the silicone hand, which I have also, and I'll be doing some videos using those as well. And the products that I'll be using is the Young Nail Airbrush. I received them from the nail trade show they had the other day over here in California. And um, these are regular finger, um, full covered um, nail tips. I shouldn't say nail tips, but full cover nails that I'll be using so that um, you can be able to use them as a press on. So after I use the nail um, gun, by the way, I went to this trade show with the intention of getting the gun nail gun and also um, the airbrush gun and also the um, e-file at the time was a back order so I already selected all my um, nails and I love my little <laughs> my little holder because I, I am prone to spilling things so I love that these are magnet and I have my little sticky um, double side or my full sticky that sticks everything on to the um, nail itself and also the little hole that it holds it. I am using the Young Nail Bonder on the nails so that the polish can stay on longer. They will be a press-on nail so most likely you're not wearing it for two weeks so the chances of the polish coming off plus it's also um, gel polish I'll be using. So I'm going to be roughening up the surface also to help everything adhere to the nails so i do that i decided to do it with the file and the file instead of the regular file because it's um not strong the holder is not holding it too strong and it tends to come off and i will go ahead and clean it off with the 91 percent alcohol so um anyways i went to the expo to get the airbrush gun and I, this happened, I would say at least over five months ago and I'm first time using the brush and I'm using it on the fingers right here. So I got the gun and I got literally at the time all the colors they had, maybe six, or six to eight colors, I think it was. I got those and um, this is the first time I'm using it. And also I'll be um, um, showing you how I use it, how I put it, um, put it together, um, take it apart, clean it, and put it away. And um, so I'm now putting on the blender to make everything adhere to it. And um, I think I might really prefer to use the hand. So I decided to use the base coat from Young Neil. This came in a little sample packet. Um, and I love that they have sample packets, you guys. Young Nail is the best. They have sample pa um, samples, like, not when I say sample, it's not that it's free. It's just that they're small enough that this little kit came with, let's see, a two, no, like six, one, two, three, four, five little tubes, which is base coat, different type of sculpt, sculpt and gel, white clear, um, the Young Nail um, Bonder, and also a top coat. Yeah, and it was like 13 something for it. And I realized, guess what? I love it. And at the time, I also ordered the Synergy Gel one, and which came in a tube. And I used that um, on myself the other day. I haven't used it on a client yet to see, hmm, do I like this versus the container? But basically doing it on myself I think I prefer the little containers better so I did go ahead after the base coat use the pink sculpting 
Um, and I didn't build it. I just kind of make, I did it to make it a little bit, you know, thicker since the nails are, you know, um, not built yet. We, we didn't use anything to build the nails. And most people will probably just um, do um, um, acrylics on it, but I don't work with it because I cannot handle the smell. Um, one thing that I did wrong is I didn't use gloves. I am getting to a point where I am experiencing contact dermatitis and it is a horrible feeling. Anything that I touch that even if I use the gel, um, I pick up like a glitter and it and a leak on my hand, I start getting itch. So my hands are getting really sensitive to the touch of anything. So but and I experience it really bad after after this video. So I learned my lesson. And um, if you could see on the right, the little remote control that is for me to control my camera. So this is what I'm using for the um, polish. So I am putting on, I think I, because of this brown, and this was like the closest I had to that um, for the um, ombre look. You know, most people use a pink or a lighter brown. This was the closest I had. I'm like, oh my gosh, how is this going to look? It's too dark. I went to sleep all depressed. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off with the ombre look. It's too dark. And <laughs> The next day I did the ombre. I'm like, oh gosh, I love this. So um, I really was shocked to see the color, but I also have another brand but it's in dip powder that I'm going to be using for an ombre instead of the airbrush gun just to show you different ways that I to see how I'm going to like doing an ombre I know for sure that I don't like the makeup and the sponge because it's like you gotta like paint it like literally three times and dab 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 and I'm like I just spray it on or um, dip powder or sprinkle it on or something so um, I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to get my better tripod so that when I do my videos, you could have a better view of what I'm doing versus um, that's me carrying it right there off camera. Yeah, just me um, being able to have see exactly what I'm doing instead of you trying to figure out that, yeah, I'm making, you know, I'm polishing the nail right there. So I will be doing all of the 10... Um, fingers or the 10 um my little mannequin fingers so um stick around and keep watching it while i talk about let's see what do you want to talk about oh let's talk about the um about getting these so um the way this this has been running since august the 3rd and it will end august the 17th i started this to on my sister's Facebook channel um, she also has a YouTube channel which is the bear pantry show but she went to her I, I'm not sure if she posted it on both um, um, social media but I know she did definitely on one and whosoever came from her um, look at that they look pretty nice huh? I was kind of like oh I like that color but let's see how the paint's gonna look on it so um, this is just finished of the first process of the ombre hey so this is the young nail and I'll be putting it together for the first time but anyways so if they came for over from her channel in order to um, enter to get this get these nails all I required were for them to subscribe to my channel and leave in any any comments in any videos that hey the bear pantry show and where they're from so basically if you came over to my channel or um and they said um from the bear pantry show florida they were entered to get this um that right there is the power and that little tube right there i used it to um well you'll see what i use it for and it came with the tubing the little screwdriver and the outlet that charges it I had it charging overnight just because, and that's where you plug everything in to charge it. I had it charging overnight um, just because I fell asleep, <laughs> but I think it needed at least an, an hour, an hour and a half, and it just, I'll just, you know, you'll see what I'm doing just to, uh, so you have to basically unscrew that and pull it out a little bit and then push it till it stops in order to get the needle to 
come out it comes ship so you don't damage the needle so that's how you have to start it and however you squeeze it in the back determines how much um, you could pull back the little lever on top right there and um, it then you just screw it on so anyways if you're not coming from her show to my channel to subscribe all you have to do is just subscribe and just let me know what state or state you're in and that automatically uh, puts you in and it's not like oh it's not fair because you know people been doing this since the third that doesn't matter once i see that you said on any video um just put like well you can't put her channel because you're not coming from there if you if you're coming from her channel put the bear pantry show whatever state you're from arkansas if it's um coming just from seeing my videos and you didn't subscribe all you have to do is subscribe and put nails and whatever state you're from so if you're not a subscriber you're coming through seeing my video or seeing this just put nails and just say you're from california california and of course if you're coming from my sister channel just put the pear pantry show and if you're coming from new york new york so this is just a process i'm putting in the um the paint in order to start i love the the ombre it it was like a little bit difficult to get it to spray but i realized i had to loosen it really a lot more in the back loosen loosen it a lot so but anyways please don't be mad that this is only gonna this is gonna end on the 17th and i will let you know at least let's see the by the end of the week who will be getting this and I will put, I will, let's see, in my next video, I will let you know who um, who will be receiving them. But um, also, I will notify the person via, um, in the comments, if I'm going to go find their name and let them know. So, um, I'm only, I'm putting on the top coat before I um, airbrush it on. And make sure you take off the sticky layer before you do the the spraying using the um the air gun so i hope whoever gets it really could use it and appreciate it and love it and um, i try to make it a basic design but yet a little bit fancy um just in case you know whoever gets it um it's not too bling bling it's not too basic and it's just like kind of in the middle so um in there in inside you're gonna get um, a glue and a little file so what you could do is just roughen up your nail a little bit a little cuticle pusher so you could push back the cuticle you push back your cuticle file your nail and then use the glue and put it on now if you and I'm roughing up the tip right there in order for the the paint to adhere when I spray it on now if you are a person that don't want um, glue directly on your nail um, you get the little lead press on sticker stick that on your nail first and then the glue then the nail but the sticker won't be included because this is just a little one-time gift but when I start doing my videos and you could purchase the press on nails those will come in a kit so in the purchase kit you will get of course the nails um, a little alcohol pad cuticle pusher um, glue the option to put a little stick sticky um, tape and um file i think yeah that'll come in a kit depending on the style of the nail it's going to be ranging from 20 dollars and up so um i've roughened up the edges or the tips or and i'm just wiping them off with alcohol and getting ready to start doing my air gun um again please make sure you have gloves on um I really had about a week and a half of contact dermatitis and it's it's so itchy. I didn't have to go to the doctor or anything, a derm, um, dermatologist or anything. All I did was um, use, I am a natural person so I use like, I normally use my on my body organic coconut oil or castor oil or um, vitamin E oil and so I use those anyways on my face, my hair, those are my lotion so after a while it helped with that um but it's just the process of waiting for it to go away and for me my hands is always in water because i'm always cooking or dishes or just 
I, I when I, whenever I touch something, I, I gotta wash my hands anyways. But I had gloves and <clears throat> I didn't remember to put them on till after the fact. So, but look how easy this is to do ombre. I mean, I I would think you know I'm a person where I'm like, oh my gosh, ombre looks. Um, when you get to do a little brush on ombre or the makeup on a sponge ombre but this makes it so much e easier you just spray and you're gone where to me the little makeup brushes you just got to do like maybe up to three times of the color just to make it blend right it came out really nice and i'm I'm so excited whoever decides to um whoever will be getting these i would love for you to send me a picture through instagram um my youtube youtube channel is my life on a hill and I had it once at tra tra as Tracy Mac Mobile Nails, but I decided to change it back because I realized I just don't want to do nails. I'm a crafter. So um, I changed it back to my life on a hill, but I still have um, Tracy Mac Mobile Nails as, in as an Instagram. So I also will post it on there and um, let you know by next week with in the video who will be getting these or I will contact the... Um, or in the next video. Yeah, that's what I'll do in the next video that I do after I promote the video This video and after I selected who will be getting them. I will put up a video Saying who will be getting these and I I can't wait to see how they look in someone They were really beautiful when I was doing them So can you guys let me know in a comment book below what you would like for me to do next in terms of either nails, crafting? I do know that I want to do um, a lot of my deco dent on the nails, which is like just like little like Starbucks coffee cups. I want to do like um, different, I want to do like a little girl on one of the nails made from 3D gel. And I plan to have one of those videos coming up. So look at that. It's not gorgeous. I'm like, I really want these for myself. <laughs> yeah, I do. And th this is going to be the 3D gel that I use in order to mold and make my flowers and my little rhinestone picker upper <laughs> and my rhinestones I'll be using. And I adhere everything with the um, Orly Builder gel, Builder in a Bottle. I use that to adhere my rhinestones. And um, actually, I love that also to build my nails, but um, I realize I'm not a fan of self-leveling gel. I, I like to break the gel that doesn't self-level. Um, why? Because it, um, it levels too fast for me and I can't get that arch. Um, it's just, oof. So I'm just putting on a rhinestone on the top by the cuticle area of the nails. And then you'll be seeing me work on the 3D. One thing I didn't, ah, kind of frustrated me was that when I went to clean the airbrush, it was kind of hard. But I didn't know that. So I did watch one of Young Nails' video where there was someone that came in and showed their version of a of an airbrush vid, um, tutorial that they said to use acetone. When I watched Tracy Young in the Young Nail video to to use this. Um, airbrush she didn't I don't I, honestly I don't remember her saying anything about acetone and I know after a while that's gonna probably break down the instrument or whatever maybe that's why but the guy that a young nail said to go ahead and use a little bit of acetone I guess you would use a little squeezy device and squeeze it inside I ended up leaving it overnight no not even overnight maybe like an hour and then I had to take q-tips and push out the paint I don't know the paint just didn't want to come out so but eventually it did so um, so right now I'm doing the rhinestone going straight down the nails and working on that. So also, yeah, let me know what type of, um, videos you would like to see for me to do next. Um, if it's more nails, let me know like what type, what color, what length. And I do have about two clients coming in, hopefully this week. So that's I have to really get on the ball and get these videos up. I have maybe three more videos to put up. It's just the time to get them done and edit and um, voiceover and all that beautiful stuff. Oh, and my thumbnails. So um, I am trying to finish finish up here with the nails, with the um, 
I'm putting on the top coat when I'm done doing the um, nails and have cured them and they're done. So, um, someone had asked if I sell these um, nails and I've been having the thought of doing that as well. So let's see how this turns out with in terms of who gets them, how they like them, how they fit. Um, things like that and see if I could start doing them because if I don't get the clients like I need to for the videos then I will have to use the um, silicone hand and I'll have the beautiful nails so what am I supposed to do with them of course wear them and then what do I do with them put them up for sale so um, and the thing is they're reusable so I would love that idea um, I still planning to get the tripod and for right now I'm just gonna be doing this method that I decide if YouTube is something I will be sticking to um, how fast my subscriber grows and because it's hard to have clients every day and I'm just right there I'm just um, taking off the sticky layer from the top coat yeah it's hard to have clients every day and then have to put up a video and just to get two subscriber a week I'm not, um, I don't have the time for all that. So um, I, I'm still deciding if this is something, um, but I can't, with, with YouTube, you just can't do it and stop. They stop promoting your videos. And so I had about 8,000 when I stopped and 8,000 and something when I stopped doing the crafting. I'm literally stuck with all these crafting stuff and making like $200 a month on YouTube. Really? No. I'm good so anyways um so if you don't mind to share it and have others subscribe would be great and I wouldn't mind giving away more more nails if I would get a better turnout on subscribers so so just sit around and watch me finish up the nails and then I'll be showing you how I clean the yellow nail airbrush okay So I'm finished with all the rhinestones. They're really already looking so nice. I'm gonna take the two fingers where I will be um, doing the 3D flowers. Um, if you wanna find these products, you can find them anywhere. I got these from AliExpress and they're either on the 3D or 4D um, hard gel or gel, yeah, gel for 3D flowers. And you just have to cure it. The best way to, do, to use this one is to I literally cure it after almost every um, like petal you put on um, because if you keep it out too long it will get it will start to melt and um, just not um, look like a real flower it'll look like just you know it won't look that great I also have a, a lot of 3d molds and I'm so excited to start using those as well um, so I want to start doing stamping more stamping um, more 3D um, stuff, images or 3D objects. Um, I use, like I said, I used to do deco. Then I used to deco. I, not that I don't do it anymore, but I do it for myself. Where I would do like keychains with a little Starbucks. So, but I'm gonna start implementing those on nails. Um, baby shower theme with the 3D, um, the 3D molds, and those you can also buy those at the press on because. You know, a lot of times a pregnant mom, it's hard to get your nails done or to find a time to go that, you know, you could, or maybe it's your baby shower, you want like a special theme, but when you go back to work on Monday, you don't want to wear, wear the crazy abstract nails, so you could just pop them off and um, press back on like a regular type 
so um the um I'm, I'm like really really excited to try and start doing more of those so stamping um oh also reverse stamping i think i'm gonna love reverse stamping more than regular stamping um the molds and let's see what else do i have that i want to start using anyways you'll i'll put the video up so um stick around while i finish up doing a 3d on the nails and know that the nails that you will be getting were designed and done by me um so enjoy you guys So now I just clean up my space and try to get the um, the rest of the paint out of there again. I am using warm water and a little suction cup in order to um, squeeze out the remaining paint. And I'm telling you, after that little spot you saw there, that was it that came out. It's like it literally dried up inside. So um, I had to, um, I brushed it out with the brush and I ended up using a Q-tip. So just go ahead and stick around and see the rest of the process that I did to get it out. Um, you might be like, yeah, after all that work you did, girl, I prefer the makeup sponge or um, that's fine, you know, um, not everyone's good at ombres. And if this helps, there's just to know as a nail tech, there's so many options and so many ways to create one design. Um, when it comes to ombres, you could do the, the ombre brush. If you have a hard time with that, you can use the makeup um, sponge if you have a hard time with that you have young nails young nail is so easy the airbrush is so easy or the next method that i want to try is the um dip powder um with the with the um dip powder sprinkle on top of it with like a, a makeup brush or something so go ahead sit back relax and see how um i clean it out and then at the end you'll see what the nails look like
Bam, there it is. Do you like them? I love them. So let's stick around and see how you can get them. Well, see who will get them. And I will let you know in a next coming up video um, after the 17th. Uh, talk to you guys later. And again, thanks for joining me on my life on a hill. And please don't forget to subscribe.